Hey. I got the link to this Busy Works Beats Curtis King video. That's not where I was trying to go. I was going to watch this one video, but um, Franco just sent me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. Like, why they make this shit so easy, dude? Can somebody give me some context to this Curtis King Busy Works Beats beef? Can somebody give me some context to this shit before I watch this shit? Give me the backstory. <laughs> I need I need a once in a I need a uh once upon a time situation. Give me a scenario. Somebody before I watch this video, before I watch this video, I need somebody to give me a scenario. Good looking out, just sub. I look forward to your drops. Appreciate you, Cody. So busy works beat saying Curtis King is biting packs. Something about umbrellas and shit. What are packs? Like drum packs? So Franco said the story includes Weaver Beats. Who the hell is that? It seems like a clusterfuck. Okay, so yeah, like Curtis King bit his packs in business model or something. Busy Works Beats explained it a little on his channel. Damn, dog. All right, man, fuck it. We about to just go review this shit, man. Y'all ready? Do y'all? Okay, nah, I ain't gonna even ask y'all. We about to go watch this shit. Fuck it. Here we go. We about to jump into it. All right, let's make sure you can hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me just look at these chat. Let me look at these chats real quick. So just off rip, if I, hey, if I see one of y'all in here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I see one of y'all in, <laughs> yo, yo, Franco, <laughs> Franco Mowgli, Franco Mowgli, Brandon, if I see y'all in this chat, boy. If I see y'all in this chat. <laughs> I didn't see the couple people that be in my live stream in Curtis King live stream. So I'm just saying, if I see there's a couple people, I'm some of y'all I expect to see y'all in there, but if I see Franco, Marion, Mowgli. I will be hurt, man. <laughs> I will be hurt. <laughs> so some dude named I've seen Planet say, I doubt it's going to be that scandalous despite being a massive hater. Weave's always pretty respectful unless you made the sandbox plug-in. Same with Kurt. So much for no smoke in 2023. Viral beats. Viral beats. Y'all see viral beats? He always be in my in my channel. Yup. He he right there. But it's cool. I think Viral Beats is a Curtis King, a big Curtis King supporter. So, um, and he he and he makes that clear. So that's so much respect to him. It takes a good bit. It takes a good bit to rile up Kurt. Just don't beat Kenny Beats and your and your own Weaver's good side. I think we can all agree game belongs at the bottom. What's up, everyone? Maybe Weaver could sing us a song while we wait. Who is Weaver Beats? Wait, so it's it's another one. Weaver Beats head has a Brazilian. Ruckus the engineer. Oh, here go Weaver Beats right here. Bro, when are they going to run the fade, man? All right, let me just watch the video. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the chat. I don't want to see these dudes. Well, it's about damn time. My bad. Excuse me. Well, it's up. about damn time, Curtis. <laughs> Try to turn this up. Oh my gosh, we're only five days into the year, Curtis. Are we already into some controversy? I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to stay right, tuned so you and said see. One hour and 23. Hey, hey. I'm going to skip through it. I'm going to skip Beats. <laughs> but so many people. Okay, hold on. Time out. I got to go see Weaver Beats, though. My ADD kicking in. So let's see. Weaver Beats. Oh, no. Nah, my bad. Hold on. This is about to be a I guess we about to just do the whole live stream on this this fucking long ass video. So Weaver beats. Curtis King. <laughs> 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 I remember this dude. What's going on today, guys? I remember this guy. This guy is the guy that be calling out bullshit too. Right? So Weaver Beats is just the dude who call out bullshit too, right? 
He be critiquing people. That's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> all right, where where is the video of him? Um, okay, producer tier list. I'm about to just glim I'll, we gonna glimpse through all of this shit. We somehow. Do you know what's lurking in your loofah? Yo, since I don't click producer ads, I never see this type of shit. What the fuck? Okay, here we go. So my man green screen in front of an SSL console. But it looked like he doing it to troll. Purely off content quality. We're not going to judge the level of the beats. Maybe might, that might influence it a little bit. But it's not the f main focus here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think we got a rose here. I have to be logged in. Dude, if it's going to make me log in to fucking... Oh, no. Oh, no. Thing here. Okay, we're not adding anything else. Okay. So this is his list of, of, of uh, YouTube music producer tier list. Andrew Hank, Huang. Av McCree, Ben, B Shoe, Busy Works Beast, Curtis King, CXDY, Elim Index. Who are. Please don't ever put me on this fucking list, bro. Because the people I do know are not good. And none of these people are industry at all. So all of these, all these people, all these people are the top YouTube people and not, none of them have like real industry experience. They all like bedroom producers. Okay, this is everyone here for now. What should be the below the greatest though? Inspiring. So basically he just making a list of his opinion, right? I don't know, watch this. That's tier, he's God tier. He's at $5, man. I okay, cool. All right, I see it. I don't need to watch that. So let's go back to this dude. Say they want change and they don't really want to change. So I'm glad that there's a Weaver Beats in this world. I'm glad that he does do the things that he does. And you're going to see sort of his style of stuff right now. And, uh. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm about to be jumping all over these videos. I can't watch this shit because then I'll, I'll be. Business went through that situation, that turmoil, and I get to just be me. I've done, I, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm me. He talking about some human shit right here. I got to hear this. I'm, I'm, look, I'm going to say it because not a lot of producers in this space are going to say it. Sometimes we drop stuff and it's. It has it is strictly about the money. We need some funds. We need to make something happen. And it's a product that we don't a thousand percent stand by sometimes. Ooh. I'm thankful that it hasn't happened often for me. See, I, I refuse to do that. He's admitting, so basically he's admitting that sometimes when you need money, you'll put out some goofy shit if you don't completely stand by it to make money. He's just he just admitted that. I say I got about a 98 percent success rate like Larry H. Parker. I care about my stuff way too much. But I've absolutely been in situations where I know I look back at my content or some or my, my, my product and I'm like, Ugh. or how about this sponsorships? That's one that I refuse to fight on. I mean, I refuse to not fight on like when it comes to uh, brands like the hell is that damn uh uh brand with the with the racist ass monkey <laughs> with the racist ass drum monkey mailchimp man, what the fuck? what's the name of that damn app who, who make that the ones that you making all of them damn cord packs that you already got inside your, your stock plugins unison strike this video down damn monkey that's why you don't I'm, i will never do a product that i don't believe in basically uh uh schedule your your instagram posts i went 70 i don't oh my need god that. bro what these dudes be talking kind of about. contents the analytics says that you watch doesn't it be offline comp that's the nerdiest shit that i've ever heard in the world now let's go ahead and zoom out of this weaver beats i don't know if you are, are available or if you're even down or what you got going on i would love to jump in a live with you or a zoom call that would be so dope because we need Weaver, we need you. Producers don't have a media takeout. We don't have like, and I'm not saying you're a gossip site they on my way home. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> uh, shoot me a text when you do, bro. We need the we need Weaver beats in this place. I know sometimes you're not gonna like the things he say, but you're supposed to be in a space where you don't hear everything that you like.
if if you're only in a bubble of things that you like, you'll never grow. So what did Weaver B say? Like, did he just say that the dude was not, I don't know. Of, of what I made off of the battle. Like, I'm asking y'all to please fill me in because I don't want to have to watch all of this shit to learn about this. I don't community. trust him and I don't feel like we... My man did a six hour live stream, bro. Because they believed one of those people. So what we can't do, we can't... Hello? You sounding really, really gentle here on the phone. But there's a lot of energy that you're operating with that doesn't make any sense and you're out of alignment. What is the issue, Carlin? Look how, look how, look how gentleman you sound. I, 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 I'm trying to figure out how does somebody <laughs> as prolific as yourself, somebody who creates as much content as professional as you make your branding, how does somebody like yourself, I'm going to turn this phone up. How does somebody like yourself end up making drill diss songs? The suit and tie Carlin, the one that I, I, I out height by seven by six or seven inches what what are, what are you what are we doing what is this about what is this really about don't give me the political answer i hear you don't give me no political answer tell me what this is about yeah, the real answer was, you know, at that point, put it on my speakerphone the way i was communicating behind the scenes was in efforts to help and then when i got shut down it was like well, if my <laughs> accepted to this degree and it's so, it's so shut down to there's no other avenue that I'm just going to express this energy. It was just an extreme amount of energy. Why do you sound sad like that, bro? Jumping around my basement while recording. I was just so turned up. And the things I said were how I felt. You know, I did feel betrayed. But why, feel but why operate it in thing. that way? I don't mean to cut you off because I want you to have an opportunity to speak exactly what it is. And I need to grab my, my charger. But why do that instead of calling me like a man? <laughs> well, the, I guess the short sighted answer is I felt like I couldn't. I felt like that was the I was like, all right, if this is the final communication, then all bets are off. There's no the way I looked at it. And I'm not saying I'm justified. Is that I said. Since. The friendship barrier was pulled down. I have no need to defend the things that I thought I was defending somebody from. So I stopped defending and I just let those things go. That makes sense, though. That makes sense. That so makes at sense. At what point does it stop being one reaction and it becomes six or seven? You got videos. You got tweets that are downplaying the hard work of another independent. You have. All right, look, man. I, hold on. I'm about to give y'all some context really quick, y'all. I'm going to give y'all some context really quick. From the outside looking in, from an industry perspective, looking at both of them as the same person, I don't think Curtis King is in any sp space to look at Busy Works beats differently than he views himself. So I'm going to tell you how I view both of them. Y'all remember in high school when the different types of people hung in different parts of the school, right? I went to nine different high schools, so I got a lot of experience with that. Like like the seniors hung out with the seniors and they didn't hang with the freshmen. And then you had the different types of freshmen. You had like the, the, the kids who hung out at the basketball court and they just played sports all day. You had the goth, goth kids over here. You had the emo kids over here. Then you had all the jocks and all the cool kids. And then you had the rappers Then you had the gang bangers over here. But like in order to hang out with like the top seniors or the football team or the basketball team or the gang bangers, like you had to be fresh. You had to prove yourself. You had to know how to fight. You had to be funny. You had to have jokes or something, right? Curtis King and Busy Works Beats was those kids that like hung out in the back of the school. Like they was like those kids that wasn't cool. Like they wore like regular New Balances. They had Jumpman Jordans. They didn't have like the real Jays. They had like Team Jumpman Jordans. Like they was, they was those kids. Like they didn't have the fresh fits. They wasn't hanging with the top dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all my perspective just respectfully. Like I'm not even trying to clown. Like, so I look at both of them as like the same type of person, but I feel like busy. I think Curtis King thinks he's cooler than busy works beats and anything that Curtis King says to, to downplay 
Busy Works Beats, it's like he really talking about himself too. He like projecting. So it's like, I think they both kind of corny. And I don't, I think from my outside perspective, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like Curtis King is a more down to earth person, but he's guilty by association. Like you guilty by association, bro. Like if you got Busy Works Beats phone number, from what I know from y'all, they attempted to start a business together. They copying each other's ideas. You're guilty by association, bro. Like, and so that literally eliminates you from being able to like judge him. Cause y'all ultimately like the same person, like, like 100%. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, bro. Okay. If y'all both want to be corny in the back of the school, there's nothing wrong with that. Shit. I hung out at the back of the school too. You know what I'm saying? But the moment I got an opportunity to hang with the cool kids, I couldn't be both. It was like, you hang with the cool kids, bro. Like, it's a different responsibility, bro. You got to eat fresh. You got to have your gear. You can't come with no scuffs on your kicks, bro. You got to iron your shirt, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to be getting girls. You're going to start having sex, bro. You got to have money. If they ask you to ditch, you got to be able to ditch. Yo, hop this fence, bro. We about to go to the mall. What? You can't be a punk. You got to go. You know what I'm saying? If you with the football team and they fight, we got to fight. Like, that's how I grew up. So, like... Imagine if I was homies with Busy Works Beats, bro. And y'all heard how emotional this man was on the phone. Imagine if I was homies with Busy Works Beats and doing business with him and then turn around and try to violate him. I'd be like, dang, like you a whole ass, you contradicting everything. You contradicting everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? The pot calling the kettle black. Exactly. So, like, I'm going to go back and watch the video, but, like, it's, we can't. It's like, look, bro, and look, I dare one of y'all to call me Weaver Beats, bro, because like I said, it, with all of the stuff that y'all didn't tell me that happened between Busy Works Beats and Curtis King, bro, if they was really homies and if Curtis King was really like that, you asking for the fade, bro. You asking for the fade. If 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 I was Curtis King and I was homies with Busy Works Beats, being Dame. And Busy Works Beats did some goofy shit, bro. We got to line it up. So I'm either fly to motherfucking Milwaukee, wherever the hell you at. He live in Maine or Delaware, wherever Busy Works Beats be live at, bro. We got a box, bro. And if we trying to do this for clout, if we, if we trying to do it for views, then let's, do, let's set up a boxing match, bro. Like, so Curtis King, Busy Works Beats, if y'all really trying to do this shit for clout, why don't y'all box, bro? If you over there dissing him and he dissing you and y'all exposing each other, like, and messing up y'all credibility, y'all got big-ass followings, bro. So are y'all on here to really add value and, and give passion to the music industry? Or are y'all trying to be loving hip-hop, the YouTube version? So it, it, it's confusing because if you say you passionate about it and you homies with Busy Works Beats... But now you mad at him because he exposing you for some goofy shit you did. Either y'all going to settle it or y'all are y'all really just going to do this shit for clout. So it, it, for me, it sounds like it, it's not making sense. What are y'all going to do, bro? Why don't y'all throw the gloves on and run a quick fade? Like, what are we doing? They both goofies. Curtis King has evolved a bit and, it, and is doing a lot better nowadays on some positive ish. Okay, well, when did this live stream? When did this live stream just happen? When did this live stream just happen? This live stream was recent, right? I think it's just a battle of egos and want to prove something. That's what I think too. Weaver Beats waited for a minute for that interview. Viral Beats, you write about Curtis King. Okay, so if that shit was last night, he over there. I'm gonna finish watching this shit, but bro, like he like a, a whole ass hypocrite, bro, because. Like you got to admit the fact that like you like somebody got to call him off. you guilty by association, bro. So if you just had this man, bro, like I'm going to tell you like this busy words beats been following me for a long time and you ain't see him do no diss tracks on me. You you see he ain't did no diss tracks on me. I pull up on his ass. And he know that. So so if he feel like he got the he got the ability to do a, a diss track on Curtis King and then cry about it on the phone, but this your homeboy, bro, y'all both corny, bro. You both corny, bro. You know what I'm saying? So imagine if you go out with your homeboys, two brothers, bro, and they go out, they go out, they go out to a a a, 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 a movies. Y'all go to the movies, 
these two dudes is brothers one dude say he better one dude say yo this dude he's positive he's trying to change his life but then they fighting and making a scene an ass out of themselves in the movie theaters together arguing they both look corny bro so it it ain't it ain't no way to get around it so look, let's get back to the video though let's get back to the video um position yourself carlin as somebody who is a leader in this space somebody who represents the the other industry that we're away from so why is he okay so let me get this straight can y'all please so didn't y'all say that curtis king stole a business model off of busy works beats and that's why busy works beats is mad is that the fact because if that's the fact where is curtis king's humility bro he he trying to sun busy works beats right now and it seemed like it's working so please give me some context on that did curtis king steal from busy works beats please let me know you always say hey i'm the person that the the people that those rappers work for i'm the person that they talk to you position yourself as a leader in the independent space why are you downplaying another leader in this space what part of the business model is that and then wait a minute you downplayed let my, me talk my, you, you downplayed what should have been one of the proudest moments of my life why bro because your feelings were hurt yes I'll give you the full honesty. Since you were being so honest during the live, I was watching the whole thing. I respect you, just your entertaining factor and just you're speaking your truth. I will say, I want to remove you from my uh, my stance because when I saw you and Dorian going live, to me, this is just my perspective. I'm not judging you. I felt like it was a reach for the end of the year because we all know Black Friday is like the one time of year where we have to nail it. To me, it felt like this is the final Hail Mary to get as much as we can. And it felt like a finesse from my point of view, because I just felt like I love you as a human. I didn't like the lie. It seemed like a lie to me. That's why I went so hard about it. It's not remove the you and meanness from it. What do you lie about? Stood up for the producer community from Timbaland to whomever is kind of like out of line, in my opinion. To me, I felt like what happens and you know, I want to remove you and I from this. I had a family friend um get kind of sucked family friend those business passive income types of things they went into debt fifteen thousand dollars and now they're living in misery wait because wait, wait, they but, believed one of those people so what we can't do we can't mix stories together for a re an emotional reaction we ha we cannot remove the you and me from this situation because i didn't say anything about you for almost a year but you kept making it about me and how toxic I am to the producer community. Then you come here and you say, I love you, bro. I was just emotional. But you downplay everything that I do. And you're supposed to be somebody that's in a space that doesn't have to do that. That like I understand the empathy for a friend, but you're coming at the wrong per people. And you did it twice, bro. OK, so I remember y'all showed me a video of Busy Works Beats exposing Curtis King because Curtis King put out a, a song or a project and he told everybody that he went number one on Apple Music and Busy Works Beats exposed that he 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 manipulated the numbers or paid for the numbers. And um, busy. so now Curtis King is basically saying, bro, like if you my homie then why you expose me and why you going around spreading my name in a bad way and saying that i'm bad for the producer community am i right that's basically what it and oh he did a diss track <laughs> card cap i gotta listen to that i've defended you bro it's funny how you keep mentioning the cymatic situation and i didn't talk to them out of my allegiance to you you remember that Right. May I say something to your audience? Sure. Say it. I just want them, I want them to understand. May. <laughs> For the record, y'all can quote this. The reason I have so much energy towards cymatics. No, 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 no. Busy. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. It's not about them. No, because you're doing it again. What you did was an issue the last time I didn't stop. Okay. I got a problem with the way he talking to him, though, because, bro. Did Curtis King steal and lie from this man or not? Did, did Curtis King give Busy Works a reason to do the stuff that he did? 
So whether it was justified or not, did Curtis King do something to Busy Works Beats to make Busy Works Beats get in his feelings about something? I want y'all to be honest about this shit. Like, because Busy Works Beats sound like he hurt. He sound like he emotional. He say he love him. They clearly had a relationship. Y'all gotta give me context because I don't know. And I'm trying to give a fair assessment to the situation. But it sounds like Curtis King did something to Busy Works Beats. And Busy Works Beats reacted in an emotional way. But they are like equal homies. And Busy Works Beats is more popular than Curtis King, right? So why is Curtis King sunning Busy Works Beats on the phone on live stream? If this supposed to be your homie, why are you using his emotions as a reason to sun him if y'all supposed to be equals and you you probably did something? So I'm asking, where is the humility from Curtis King? Did Curtis King do something that warranted an apology to Busy Works Beats? Let's keep it a buck. Never heard Cymatics reference in real life. See, they be on that loyal shit, even if they doing fuck shit. Nah, he just went out on his own and busy works. It feels like Curtis King stole his business model. Okay, well, Rival Beats, I always see you in Curtis King live streams. So I know you probably got a bias to Curtis King, but I want a neutral opinion on this situation. I don't want a biased opinion on this situation. Every live stream I've ever seen a Curtis King, which is two or three, I've seen you in the comments. So I, I love the fact that you support and you fuck with Curtis King. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So you a Curtis King guy. So like I would expect anybody that's a Dame Taylor guy to speak on my behalf and be a little biased to Dame Taylor. Right. But I'm not looking for bias. I'm looking for like, did Curtis King really do some shit to where do he do he owe Kurt? Do he owe Busy Works Beast an apology? Business models are meant to be stolen, but not from your homies, though. Business models are meant to be stolen. Yes, like Uber started, Lyft came, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of other companies came. Same thing with the Bird Scooter and then Lime Scooter, then Uber made scooters, right? Like Lyft made scooters. So, yeah, business models are meant to be stolen, but not from one of your homeboys, though. Not for one of your homies. I've had people who have paid to come to Monster Sessions producer camps just to try to steal the business model to do camps on their own. That's not cool. That's not cool. Now, if you are assessing me from the outside and you're trying to compete with me and I don't know you and you haven't used me and came into my internal personal space of love and care to take from me, then that's different. But if you on the outside and you 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 over there cheering up and, and trying to steal from that's 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 all that's all part of the game. But if y'all was homies, if y'all was homies and y'all was doing business together and then you took a model from that and went and did it on your own, that's not cool. So is that what happened or not? Is that what happened or not? Everybody hit the like button, y'all. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. Um, I'm trying to really learn about Busy Works Beats Curtis King world for real. Y'all hella quiet. Y'all quiet now. Yeah, if you're if you're tight, that's different. So did busy work did busy work beats get in this feeling because Curtis King violated something? If he did, then he need to show some humility. Like you can't do no whole shit and then hold the dude who mad at you for doing some whole shit. I I I I'm just saying that's what it seemed like to me, bro. Like it seemed like, but I could be wrong. No, I don't know the situation. That's why I'm asking y'all to let me know. Stop because it was your platform. I don't. We're not talking about cymatics. This is the issue, bro. This is the issue. You keep making about other people, and you are taking the attention off of you. If that nigga talk to me like that, we got a box, bro. <laughs> Curtis King, we got a box, bro. Just drop your pin, bro. And this is where we're having a disconnect, bro. They don't care about cymatics right now. 
They're in here right now to hear me and you have a conversation about why. So basically, Busy Works Beats was saying something about bringing Curtis King under his wing or umbrella in his on some high horse ish. Okay, keep going, keep telling me. So, so that's that's big. So, are y'all saying that Busy Works Beats put Curtis King under his wing to teach him something, and then Curtis King took it and went against what Busy Works Beats thought or expected and tried some on his own? And Busy Works Beats felt some type of way about that. And he acted emotionally and did some shit that Curtis King probably didn't agree with, right? Goofy shit breeds goofy shit. So the question is that at any point of their relationship, did Curtis King do some goofy shit to Busy Works Beats? We're not talking about what he did, what Busy Works Beats as a reaction. We're talking about what caused Busy Works Beats to get emotional. What caused him to to busy works beats is in here okay so busy works beats is in here so i want to know what did busy works beats do some shit no no did curtis king do some shit to warrant busy works beats acting emotional let's just say busy works beats went and shot and killed god forbid knock on wood or let's say if he went and hurt curtis king did he have a reason for it that's the point. Okay, so if you can't hop on my live, that's cool. Ex I need some context. I need some context. And if that's the case, all I'm saying, if that's the case, if that's the case, then you can't turn around and be trying to hold this man on live, bro. Because it's like, okay. Look, I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all an example. I'm gonna give y'all an example. I'm gonna give y'all. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell y'all. Y'all want to hear some true shit? Y'all want to hear some true shit? I'm gonna tell y'all some true shit. Okay, busy. I'm gonna read that. I'm gonna read that shit in a minute for sure. All right, look. I'm gonna give y'all some true shit from my personal experience. Personal experience, and it's personal for life. All right. So, I had a student. I had a student who, black dude, thirty years old who joined one of my platforms. He joined one of my platforms, I think in 2017, right? So I'm very, very personal with my platform. So he joined Monster a &R. When you join Monster a &R, I'm calling you on the phone. So I call this man on the phone. My man said, yo, Dame, um, I joined your platform because I'm in LA and I wanted to link up with you. So basically he didn't join the platform for its intended purpose, which was to have people submit their music and I helped them to get placements. He joined the platform because he wanted to meet me. So he paid, I think it was $99 to meet me. And I was like, bro, well, that's not how it worked. He, he was like, well, I'm in LA for two weeks. We trying to network. He from Virginia, but he came out here to network because everybody knew I called him on the phone. So I was like, well, look, I can't meet up with you, but what you need? He was like, we trying to get a studio. So I said, all right, bet. I'm going to give you this number to my homeboy. Go get with my homeboy. He charged $25 an hour. I'm a, and then he hooked up with him. He went over there, recorded two songs for a day. These dudes were sleeping in the Airbnb for a week. And then they slept in their car for the last week because he came out here to try to grind. Right? Okay, cool. So he was like, damn, I appreciate you showing me love when I was in L.A. Woo, 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 woo. Right? So then he goes back to Virginia. So for those that know, this is Sam Walker. I'm going to tell you all some real shit. This is Sam Walker, Samuel fucking Walker, all right? So now Sam Walker is a Monster a &R member. He back home in Virginia, all right? Everything's cool. He First he was a producer, then he quit, then he was a rapper, then he quit, then he went back to producing, then he quit, went back to rapping. So a lot of these dudes, they don't know what they want to do. They don't know what they want to do. So now he's a member. Just like all the other members, they tapping in, we doing Zooms, we in the Facebook community, we're communicating, I'm calling these dudes on the phone, right? So then it became a consistent pattern where he was calling me, asking me for advice. So I'm giving him advice, giving him game. He going through baby mama drama. He got his daughter going through custody and all that. He crying, I'm counseling this man, all of this shit, right? We had a, we had a producer move out here who wanted to work for the company. And that person came out here, I put him in all my content, and then that inspired other people to want to move out here to work for the company too so sam was one of those guys who was inspired by edgar he was like dad i want to come and work at the monster sessions office too 
So Sam is like, yo, I want to come out there. I can't come right now. So I'm like, all right, cool. We'll give you some jobs over, over the phone. So I was like, yo, so I'm, I'm training him. I'm teaching him. I'm schooling him. I'm, I'm giving him hope. I'm empowering this 30 year old black dude. Right. I'm like when you come out here, you got to get a job. What's your resume look like? All I'm helping this man, everything, everything, everything. Right. Speed it up. He comes to three or four producer camps. Right. He moves out here, shows me that he's very lazy, didn't do none of the stuff that he promised to do. So I fired him. So he drove all the way out here. I told him, I said, I don't think it's a good idea for you to move to California to work for the company because I don't trust your work ethic. I told him this. I told him this. I said, but if you still want to come, that's on you, bro. I can't guarantee you that you're going to have a guaranteed position. I understand. Let me prove it to you. Right. So he came. He came. He didn't even last two weeks. 30 years old. He didn't last two weeks. We sent his ass home. Sent his ass home. And what does he do? Not even two or three months later, he goes back and he tries to start producer camps with all of the access that I gave him, all my passwords, all my curriculum development, all of my class models and everything. He tried to go and do that shit in Atlanta and then went and took all the old Monster Session students and members. Tried, he tried to recruit all the members who were no longer subscri subscribers. He tried to make a platform with them behind my back. He blocked all of our Instagram accounts so we wouldn't see it. He blocked all of our Instagram accounts so we wouldn't see it. Now, that shit is fucked up. With me and him, is up. It's up forever. I don't give a fuck. I'm 70. If I see him, it's up. That hurts. That hurt. That hurt me, bro. Like that. That hurt because I took this grown ass man under my wing. This grown ass man. This dude used to call me and cry about his his girlfriend. He used to cry about his mom. He used to cry about getting a job. He used to cry about his relationships. And I sit on the phone for free and counsel this man. You feel what I'm saying? And then he went to Atlanta and start popping shit. He went to Atlanta and start popping shit. So I'm like, all right, bro, what's up, bro? I'm going to see you, bro. Because I didn't help you for money. I helped you out the kindness of my heart, bro. I helped you because I trusted you. And you was this. You was my color, bro. I helped you because I was trying to empower another black man who was who had a four-year-old daughter. You feel what I'm saying? So when he went back across and started popping that shit, it's on, bro. Like, I, I, like that right there. That, 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 that. So now he went and tried to block my Instagram, all of my team's Instagram, and then not even all the other monster in our members is seeing this like, yo, like all my homies, my industry homies that all my industry homies that I introduced him to that got plaques, they thought he was my guy. So they all follow him. They all follow this new A&R Instagram because I never told none of them, yo, don't fuck with him no more. I just let it be. I didn't bad talk his name. I just let it be what it is. So he went and had the balls to go try to create a management A&R service in Atlanta by blocking us out, by following all of my industry homies. And they followed him back thinking that me and him still cool. So after I put the video out, he stopped all of that shit. But I'm telling you, he going to see me one day. So if that's similar to what happened with this um, Busy Works B shit, then you can't come on here popping it, bro. So let me, okay, let me, okay. Let, now, now let's get back to Busy Works B. So Busy Works B said, Busy Works B said, we had a podcast and on our last episode, surprised me with his launch of CK University, which had clones of all my products. Ooh, see? Okay. So the question is, Busy Works Beats. If he had a clone of all your products, what happened after that? Like, did you call him out on that shit? And did he acknowledge it? And did he apologize? Like, so there we go. So listen, if I'm busy works beats, let's just let's if I'm busy works beats and I bring Curtis King under my wing and I show him all my models and products and then he introduces CK University on a podcast, did he let you know about it? Did he let you know? Did he let you know about the product? Did he say, like, listen, like, let's just say because my job is to empower. My job is to teach and empower. So let's just say if I got a dude next to me and I'm showing him everything I got. And he was like, yo, dang, you inspired me to create a product similar to you. Then I'm going to say, don't do it right now. Or I'm going to say, well, nah, if you do that, bro, you know, it's going to conflict with my product. I think you should wait. Right. That's what non-disclosures are. You know what I'm saying? 
So he said, after the cloning, I ended the podcast and let him live, but had to step back a bit. Okay. Okay. All right. But then what happened? He didn't let me know and also used the death of Nipsey to promote his stuff. I didn't like that at the time. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay. This is all I'm saying. From the little video that I saw, I don't know y'all's situation, bro. But we got to call a spade a spade, bro. You can't do no goofy shit and then try to hold a person who was upset that you did some goofy shit to him. Imagine if Sam did that to me, bro. And Sam tried to do that to me. Sam tried to do that to me. Sam tried to make me seem like I was emotionally unstable because I was mad that I brought this man in and then he went and tried to do something. And they tried to make me seem like the villain. Like, no. So, y'all gotta understand that with being a man, there has to be accountability and humility. But you also have a responsibility to say, hey, bro, I don't like how you did that shit. So I don't know. It's, it's so many factors that go into play. Like, OK, so after Curtis King, after you go and you you put Curtis King under your wing and then Curtis King decides to create Curtis King University and take all your business models and clones of your products without telling you, how did you react to that? Did you say, hey, bro, that fucked up, bro? You said, I fucked up, bro. Hey, I don't like that shit in private. And then he supposed to be like, damn, bro, you right. What could I have done different? Or damn, bro, you right. Should I not do it? Or nah, bro. Okay, you know what? Damn, you know, I ain't look at it like that. Like, I ain't going to even do it no more, bro. Or I'm going to rebrand or to change the name. All right? You know what I'm saying? Or if it's a non-disclosure, then a non-disclosure protects you from putting those products out first for at least the first two to three years. So there can't be a non-compete. There can't be a competition. So you can't be putting somebody on your wing to be breeding your competitor. That's not why you put people under your wing. You don't put people under your wing that you're thinking you're helping out the kindness of your heart. And in return, that person is looking to compete with you, bro. That's a that's that's a fade right there, bro. That's a fade. All the behind the back stuff. It ain't cool at all. If you have to move on from something, don't trash the place or make waves leaving that part. I can't recall exactly, but I remember just pivoting a bit. I think that's the energy that led to the beat battle shortly after. So is that why your ass was acting like that in the beat battle? We got a brand. Okay, look. If y'all want me to look, if y'all want me to be a mediator, if if hey, if y'all want me to be a mediator, I'll mediate the situation between you and him because I think there probably should be some accountability on both ends. I don't think this man got a right to be talking to you like that, bro. I think he taking advantage of knowing that you probably not like that. Like the way he talking to you, it's like, cause a real, a real street person is like, okay, let's just say if I was homies with Curtis King, if I was homies with Curtis King and I did some goofy shit to him, let's say I did some goofy shit to him. And then Curtis King went on live and was like, Hey bro, like you slandering my name. You're not about to have me on live making me look like a goofy bro. I'm be like, hey bro, why you why you talking to me like that? You gonna lie too, bro? Nah, pull up, bro. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And, and Curtis King, like Curtis King lived like 30 minutes from me, I think. I think Curtis King lived close to me. So Curtis King, watch this video, bro. Like, that's nothing. But if if it get like that, we're gonna have to meet up, bro. What's up, bro? Line up, bro. Hey, hey, busy work beats. You need to pull up. Be like, hey, bro. Nah, fuck that, bro. Line up, bro. What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> hey, cause, like, straight up. Like, I don't think that's cool. Let me see. Why is there so much conflict from two people they respect? They don't care about cymatics. They don't. And I'm just, I'm, and I'm saying that not to be disrespectful, but I'm saying that, like, you're, 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 you're playing, you're playing a game again, bro. Like no, I, you know what it is. I'll be fair with you. Talk it's, to me. I don't. I don't want you to look any type of way. I'm not trying to come on here to bash. I think. Okay. The the Curtis King show any humility. Okay. So I got another. I got another. I got another possibility. Busy works beats in here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is there a chance? Is there a chance that when Curtis King stole your business models, is there a chance that he, he didn't realize he was doing something? in violation because if there is a chance that he didn't know he was violating maybe he don't understand why you acting like this you 
You know what I'm saying? Look, I'll be the mediator. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold both of y'all accountable. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want me to be the mediator, bring that nigga in here. Go get, go, somebody go get Curtis King. Go bring his ass in here. And we mediate the whole shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure ain't nobody talk. If, if, if they both wrong, if they both wrong for something, one can't have more energy than the other. They got to be humiliated on both sides, bro. Like, it can't be you. Now you trying to hold him because now, like, it's like y'all both doing the same thing. If Curtis King is mad because you making him look bad, now he on a live stream making it look like he's sunning you. Like, and now you over there, like, making yourself look bad on his live stream. Like, so, bro, like, in L.A., that's a fucking fade. So don't sit here and talk to me and talk to me about this man being affected by Nipsey passing as an excuse to do some goofy shit on YouTube, bro. Like, so if that's the case, I got homies that was with Nipsey when he died who kept that shit moving the next day. So, like, so he, so you basically, nah, okay. One thing I know people in general could work on is presentation and I think about responding instead of reacting. There's a difference. Right. But I also think Curtis King knew how I operated outside of the products. His mindset was that I didn't build up his brand, which I felt I did. OK, so if you felt like you had played a part in. So basically what you did. OK, this is this is what happens in business all day. This is why non-disclosures and non-competes are very important in business, because if you give your ideas or business models to the wrong person, if they go and create a business model similar to yours, you might not be able to sue. That's why the mob, that's why Suge Knight was walking in companies with bats and beating people up, bro. So if you ain't got hands, then you can't really trust people like that because he said on the thing, he five, six inches bigger than you. So he probably not worried about you reacting. And that's probably why you reacted emotionally because you can't, can't go beat his ass. That's probably why. Just in communication in general. So one or two things need to happen. Y'all need to meet up in box. Busy words, beast. Come out here. Let me train you. Because Curtis King can't fight either. So I don't know why Curtis King acting like that. Curtis King can't fight. Like, look at him, bro. <laughs> he, he ain't got no hands either. So I don't know why you popping that pop. Like, you go, like, come on, bro. So I think this is what y'all need to do, bro. Y'all need to bring y'all asses on the Dame Taylor channel and let me mediate this shit for y'all, bro. Let me help y'all get this shit right, man. So we know Busy is on board. We know Busy is on board. So go get somebody go get curtis king tell curtis king to bring his ass in here curtis king know who i am too and and we gonna we mediate all three of us right now and i'll be the host of that shit and we gonna squash this shit because y'all the biggest motherfucking platforms on this uh, y'all the biggest channels on this platform and y'all got a better responsibility to represent the music community better than this shit this is not cool this shit ain't cool man straight up you know what I'm saying? So, Busy Words Beats, go send Curtis King the link to this video. Tell his ass to pull up, and we're going to bring him in here, and then we're going to do what we're going to do to show. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better, bro. Because people come in, people, y'all y'all followers be coming to my live stream like they beefing again. But some people saying it's fake. Some people saying it's real. I don't fucking know. I just don't like how you trying to hold this. Look, I'm not picking no sides. I just don't like how, how he trying to hold him as if he is 100% right when he also played a part in the shit that's happening. Which, um, the core of it is, is that maybe you feel like you're defending, but from my perspective, I feel like I'm defending, and that justifies my warlike tactic. Bro, you made a diss song. What do you need to defend? You made a diss song. And then you went, use your large, large dog. You have an audio. Okay. See, once again, once again, once again, once again. If busy works beats. Look, okay. Once again, if you did some goofy shit and busy works beats is not a fighter, how else can he react? If he helped you without no paperwork, he can't sue you. How can he hold you accountable? So if Busy Works Beats felt slighted by you 
or felt like you violated him and his trust compromised his trust and he put you under his wing and taught you something and you took it and did something goofy with it if he decides to make a diss track that's the equivalent to him fighting you or if he decides to expose you see you got to understand bro when you slice somebody they have a right to fight the way they fight so some people will pull up to you shoot you some people pull up to you fight you some people gonna hack your computer and put a virus on your shit some people gonna make a diss song some people gonna expose your bullshit so how you gonna say how you gonna get mad at this man for making a diss track because you gave him a reason to make a diss track i that's what I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand that. I promise not to agitate. I'm open. I just don't want to have him think I'm not genuine and to his audience, but your audience can tag him. Tag, tag his ass. Yeah, exactly. So look, listen, I'll be doing a gang of shit on my channel and I know for a fact that I'm prepared for whatever happens. If I say, Curtis King beats is not that good, bro. And 500 of his members come and take down my YouTube channel. I know that comes with the territory. If I'm fucking going to fucking med if I go to I don't know where I'll be eating at. If I go to Chipotle, bro. If I go walk into Chipotle and I walk outside and some big ass light skinned dude walk up to me and he talking about some hey dang. What's up, bro? You was talking shit about me on YouTube, bro. Who was you? Curtis King. I'm prepared for that. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, you understand that when you put something out to the universe, it's going to come back to you however God wanted to come back to you. So if you stole from this man and this man made a diss track, you should be thankful that that's all he did. You should be thankful that that's all he did. Because if you, if, if you did that to me, we got to run the fade, bro. So you promise not to agitate. Man, bring his ass in here, man. Somebody go get Curtis King, bro. We got Busy Works Beats in here. Somebody go get Curtis King. We're going to bring both their ass on stage. And we're going to get to the bottom of this shit. Who is right? Who is wrong? Who should be apologizing? Who shouldn't? I don't want to go listen to the to the diss track. <laughs> What's the name of the diss track, dude? Somebody said it's called Kurt Cap. Let's get this dude out of here. Kurt Cap. <laughs> Where that shit at, bro? Everybody hit the like button. Everybody stop. Hit the like button real quick. Put y'all questions in the chat. Hit the like button.